Copy AI tutorial, how to use Copy AI. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a quick look at Copy AI because with AI taking over all fields and niches, how can you use it to your benefit? Well, Copy AI is a new AI that allows you to basically chat and get anything answered. So let's get started into the sign up process, the pricing, and what kind of information can you really extract out of Copy AI? Well, all you have to do is head on over to copy.ai. It is free to use. You don't have to, you know, purchase it or provide any credit card information. If you see a look at their pricing uh, for 2000 words per month, you can use it absolutely free. You have over 90 copywriting tools, unlimited projects, as well as a blog wizard tool. Now, if you want to increase your word count and you want to write even more, then you have the pro version starting at $39 per month, where you can have five users, 90 copywriting tools, unlimited projects, over 29 languages, which is not something that you're going to find in a lot of other AI tools. So this can be a great way for you to, uh, you know, write in any language. You can translate, you can transcribe, you can create subtitles in multiple different languages. So this is going to be a great way for you to reduce your workload with these features. Now, let's get into uh, getting started with the sign up. Just head on over to copy.ai. Once you are in copy.ai, click on sign up with Google or sign up with email, whatever you prefer. We're going to sign up with Google just to make it a little quicker. So I'm just going to use my email address over here. It barely takes a minute for you to get started. So I'm just going to continue on with Google over here to create my account on copy AI. So once you have completed your sign up, you will just be, uh, you know, Starting off with a basic little survey, so what is your basic purpose? You can choose to skip these questions if you don't want to. You really don't need to even answer them. If you just want to get started right away, we can just skip these. And we are just going to continue on over here. And just like that, your first project would be created. Now, you guys will see it's different than a lot of the other uh, AI tools like ChatGPT. This is more oriented to helping you out with completing projects and uh, moving towards a goal-directed activity rather than just being able to answer random questions. So the best part about this is that you have a real-time search where you can summarize the latest news, write a personalized email, you can have a long form content uh you can have any kind of long form content as well as brainstorming basic ideas then on the bottom left you have your project section where you can save up different projects this can be a great way for you to put all of your ideas in one place get the ai to really write a lot of different things uh, about your business let's say you're trying to get some ideas for your marketing for your entire business so this can really help you in getting all of the content in one place now after that you have a info base now for example a info base is going to basically provide you with prompts that you can reuse so if i was to click on add over here and this would be prompt name university and I can just enter my text prompt or if I want to upload a text file, I can choose that as well. But let's say I have like a very long, complicated prompt about scoring and testing of psychological tests. So instead of having to constantly re-add that prompt whenever I want to uh, get something regarding uh, psychological tests, I can write a comprehensive prompt once and use it every time just so I can, you know, provide more details every time. So let's say, so you guys can see I've just entered a little prompt over here. And what I've done is this, I've added these dots for myself just so it's easier for me to distinguish, you know, where I'm supposed to put in my new information. So uh, let's say I have like a lot of different questions about this specific test that I conducted. So what I can do instead of having to type it all over again, this is just like a very basic example, but if I have to do this all over again, I would have to do, you know, retype, retype, but instead of that, I can just choose these dots and then uh, I can just replace them whenever I'm asking the AI a question. Now, let's go into the actual AI and we're going to click on the chat section over here. 
And in the chat section, let's take a look at how you can get started. So first off, let's take a look at one of their simple prompts. So summarize the latest news on generative AI. And you guys can see it's generating all of the different articles you can find. Now, what you're not going to find in other AI tools like ChatGPT is that ChatGPT is not connected to the internet. So information that is upcoming, that is just very new, it's not going to be entered into ChatGPT. So it can't answer those questions. But a interactive AI like Copy AI can actually derive data from the internet itself as well. So with all of the upcoming news, the latest information, you can catch all of that up. Now, let's say I want to use my prompt. So what I will do is I will just click on Browse Prompt and I can choose to create a custom prompt like we did previously, but you also have some pre-existing prompts that can help you as well. So you have a caption generator, YouTube video, all that good stuff, but I'm gonna take a look at my prompt. Uh, I'm gonna save this over here and we are gonna go back into our chat and my prompt is currently not showing up. Yeah, so if I just go on ahead and type in hashtag, it's showing up over here. So will it have an impact on like this? So now instead of having to type that entire thing, I can just enter that directly over here and I can just copy, even just copying this like that is a lot easier than having to type it all again and again. So you guys can see over here, it's just extracting all of the information that it has. Now with this specific tool, you also have the option to add to editor. Now what this does is that you can add this to your editor to later on edit, and you can just click on new project to start a new project. If one uh, project has been completed, if you've uh, found adequate information about what you're searching for, then you can get started with a new project like this. So let's say we want a product description for a bike cycle in the style of Hemingway. So like this, we are having this uh, AI generate multiple different types of content. And once you are completed, if you don't find, if you were just doing it for fun and you don't like any of the ideas, you can just clear your chat and get started in the same chat once more. So let's say we want to do something like, so can you analyze this page? And then I can enter the URL. And you guys can see it's actually scanning a online page, which is not something that is going to be very simply done by other AI tools or even by other analytical tools. You can't really just ask it and then automatically it generates a summary. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with Copy AI. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.